about these tickets, 88, 89, one of the heaviest infested homeless 7-Elevens. Think of them, one store, two, two stores in Skid Row that have way, le way less homeless people there in front. You get comfortable here. Sweaty. It's gonna be a warm day today. It's all sweaty in the bed over here. Humidity. Make sure it's simple. But let's see what happens. Okay, La Volta. I don't know if I'm gonna play that. Can I see it? La Volta's right here. La Volta. No, my ESP is not working, but we got La Pera. You know, this place, the 7 Eleven, has got a ton, a ton of cops, ton. CHP, LAPD, sheriffs, security, all sorts of people um, walk in there. And um, that place has still gotten robbed. There's been a murder. Across the street, around the corner from there, the Cotorro. Someone else, a bicyclist, got run over and smashed the crossing the other way on the street, around the corner. And um, what is happening there? This shit. It's not a safe area, so def definitely I'll buy it there. It's like it's daytime, a lot of people. Yeah, I can still be a victim, but I'll blend in with all the other targets. Just don't don't look like a juicy target. No necklaces, no designer wear. Just go in there, in and out, have your money already ready. So we're we're on here we're on the board here pretty good pretty early all right so these three we got look one two three we're looking for la sandia it's gonna be right here la sandia that's it la sandia will be right here That's already, um, <laughs> we're looking for La Sandia, El Barril, El Paraguas. La Sandia, El Barril, El Paraguas. El Paraguas will be right here. El Tambor. Yeah. This is a pretty juicy card so far, but let's see. See what happens here. And today's topic is what am I saying? The um, today's rant is what, what do I fear more than death? I was talking with someone about this the other day, and we we're talking about the brevity of it, the inevitable, which is death. And I said that you know I don't mind being dead because I was already dead before I was born. Harpa, right there. La Garza, right there. La Maceta, right there. So I'll just be going back to being uh, non-existent in death. When I told them that the thing that I fear most is coming back to this planet. Okay, we're looking for La Estrella. Sandia, El Paraguas, El Barril. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this was a juicy card. This was a juicy steak picture on a menu. So close, but so far.
video, I was telling them that, you know, I'm pretty, I would be concerned to come back. Imagine coming back as a fly, coming back, um, you know, somewhere where, you know, in Mexico, you, you can't buy a gun, I believe, only if you're a cop. And you have all sorts of paperwork, maybe to be a hunter. But it's not like here in America where you can just go H and over with your ID and pass a background check. No mental issues, no felonies, and um, you can go ahead and buy one. But imagine being stuck in cartel land. El Sol. I want to go for La Luna. No, El Sol will be right here. El Sol will be right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. ESP is working. El Sol. Right here, last one. Corner. <gasps> no way. Okay. 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 Three point three will be an outlier. Hello. Here, here, or here. La Luna. <laughs> All right, that's enough for that. It's crazy. La Palma. All right, that's a good distraction there. Two for two. La Luna here. Crazy with that had been if I would have called it. Look, I even forgot to scratch the soul. Dude, I even forgot to scratch La Mano, the soul. So on here. Alright, I forgot what I was going to talk about with that. I did, I lost my train of thought just because I hit those two. El Sol. It's La Luna, La Luna, La Luna right here. I'm just going to play the card. I can't. Um, can I do another one? El Musico. I'm going to say El Musico is here, right? El Musico. Musico will be right here. Alright, let's just play. La Sirena. Alright, I forgot totally what I was talking about there. That thing that just happened. Okay. Oh yeah, so coming back as... Um, Karma, reincarnation. I'm getting it. Imagine being born back in Mexico, but to be born in cartel land. Or be being on the border where there's two different cartels, like the, on the border of uh, Michoacan, where it's Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generación versus Los Limas. That still has an underlying factor of Los Setas and all sorts of funky things going on now. Not being anything to buy anything for uh, self defense. You know, to be born somewhere in Africa where there's no, um, not just no running water, but there's no, um, no, um, no plumbing. You know, there's a story of this one um, gorgeous woman. She's probably a woman by now, but this chick who used to um, walk two miles with a water bucket on her head. Walk two miles back to, um, is it two miles or two hours every morning to get the water from the well to, to use? And, um, Take it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
should be no more wins because once you win a ticket, that's it. Alright, well, at least we got one win. But yeah, it's insane. Um, yeah, dude, that uh, the biggest fear is not death, the biggest fear is um, being reincarnated and doing this game all over again with no memory. And it came up to the theory of, you know, what can we do to beat that? And the, in my opinion, the next topic would be how to beat reincarnation. And the quick preview is leave a document, leave a video behind, leave a journal behind, leave a book behind, leave your knowledge, leave a legacy. So that the future generations have the blueprint of where to step or not to step.